Today I want to talk about the kidney transplantation and diving. Uh, this is a, a question I received on some uh, SNS and it says uh, my student suffered chronic renal failure since childhood and after many years of hemodialysis had uh, his kidney transplantation. Life is okay now except occasional episode of hypoglycemia which is readily taken care of by some chocolate bars. Uh, would new kidney or the surgery be a concern on diving with increased ambient pressure or would there be any problem in scuba diving? And my answer was uh, please have him call me want to talk to him directly so many things to tell him because I also have gone through this kidney transplantation almost 20 years ago my numbers are dun, dun, dun. Uh, probably what we should be mostly concerned about is the side effects of initial high dose of immune suppressants um, to talk about, have you ever thought that kidney transplants can dive? Yes, they can. Um, and I will uh, briefly cover uh, chronic renal failure, hemodialysis, kidney transplantation, immune suppressants, diving after receiving a kidney, and diving after giving a kidney. Uh, chronic renal failure by the definition is kidneys cannot filter cannot filter waste product and unable to restore its normal function and only hemodialysis or kidney transplantation can take care of the situation so uh, Hemodialysis, this one is uh, hemodialysis, and this one too. Um, we connect artery and the vein on our forearm and make the vein really big with the pressure of artery, and then we insert needle each time we do the dialysis. So blood will come out and go into the machine and the filtration goes on and after uh, bloods are purified they go back into our body uh, Mr. Huang a very very old famous uh, Korean diver living in Jeju he once asked me if he can dive even though he is under dialysis. Hi. At that time I said, you can go in underwater a couple of meters and um, stay there like a couple of minutes and come out. It's only symbolic, but you cannot really do the usual diving. Hemo, uh, peritoneal dialysis is a, li a little different. Uh, peritoneal di dialysis, you make a hole in your abdomen, uh, we put some catheter in it, and uh, inject some uh, dial dialysis solutions. The solution will filter the wastes and they will come out of uh, peritoneum. Uh, concern with this uh, procedure is the wound you have on your abdomen. Uh, nowadays there are quite a few bandages which can completely cover the wound and probably you can have better chance of diving. But you also have to consider your physical status. Um, you will really get very tired if you 
dive like you used to before you had this problem. So you can do it, but it doesn't mean you can really do it. So it sounds pretty um, philosophical. I think I will. And then a transplantation. Uh, here I said one more kidney. It means the sick kidneys, they stay there. We don't take them out. And we just put one more kidney inside uh, anterior lower abdomen. The kidneys are actually uh, not inside the, um, it's out of peritoneum. But when, when you implant, we have to put it in so that that can be connected to the bladder. And um, we just put in, uh, one more kidney in. Um, giving kidneys or giving any organs to anybody the most novel gift we can ever think of. Uh, we need more and more of this. There are more and more patients and uh, I think uh, we need more donors. Law says uh, in almost everywhere uh, you cannot buy or sell organs. I'm not sure about the legal aspect in China, but there are quite a few Koreans who go to China and get the kidney. This uh, used to be this way and I think it is still this way. And I don't know uh, the legal aspect in China, but it is going on. Uh, as a person, you can register as a living organ donor. And when they find somebody in line matching your organ or your types, uh, they will get it. But families and relatives can freely give their organs to their families and relatives. But there is certain limit in Korea. Uh, has to be cousin or uh, if you, you are if you are a blood uh, a bloody uh, relative up to cousin you can get it um, probably uh, you can still do it but it has to be a little uh, closer if you are not a bloody relationship anyway uh, in Korea if you have some uh, religious relation relationship. Uh, like priests uh, uh, can give kidney. Uh, I think uh, sisters also can do it. But as far as I know, they cannot receive it from their uh, fellow uh, Christians. I believe it's the same with uh, Buddhism. Um, now, after kidney transplantation, everybody has to take immune suppressants. So, drugs that uh, we take after kidney transplant is immune suppressants for sure. And then we take uh, antihypertensives, we take uh, antibiotics to prevent the infection, and hyperlipidemia drugs. And then, uh, to protect our stomach from all these uh, awful drugs, we take some gastric uh, protective drugs as well. Um, immune suppressants are used for autoimmune disease as well. Those are psoriasis, lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, Crohn's disease. Uh, there are a couple more. But this is out of uh, the issue today. After organ transplant, yes, we take immune suppressants. There are this many immune suppressants. Before kidney transplant we usually initially give steroid uh, cyclosporin is very renal toxic which means can damage kidney so after kidney transplant they don't use this uh, they can they usually use like uh, prograf and salceft and they are just several of so many uh, immune 
anti-immune or immune suppressant drugs. Uh, immune suppressants, they have, let me say, lots of side effects. So if you have any of the symptoms below, you have to consult your doctor immediately. Fever and chill means you have infection. Pain in the side of your lower back. Trouble urinating. Pain when you urinate. Frequent uh, urination. Unusual tiredness or weakness. Sounds pretty much like uh, decompression sickness. Diving after a kidney transplant. Uh, initially, they give you a full dose of everything. You cannot dive. Actually, you cannot participate in any social activity during this time. You better not. Because you have a very high chance of getting infection. Uh, if you push your body too far, you can actually get a further problem because you have only one poorly acting kidney. Until this kidney really becomes a part of you, it doesn't function as well as uh, it should. Uh, it's not always like this. Um, one and a half in two years, but some people can uh, get the fixed dose, reduce the fixed dose even in six months. But usually about 1.5 in two years, the doses goes down to some uh, lowest point. After this, you can do anything. Not only diving, but you can do anything. Um, you can eat anything, you know. So, this is something uh, worth remembering. Uh, I would say minimum of one year. Me, um, I started the diving after kidney transplantation, after 2.5 months. I was in the hospital for like six weeks. And then I came home after four weeks. I couldn't stand. I couldn't wait to go diving. And I was uh, quite crazy and still crazy. Uh, I certainly had some uh, uh, sequelae, side effect of too early diving after the surgery. But somehow I overcame and uh, I'm still diving very actively. Um, what about the after donation? If you give your kidney to your brother, it's the same as any abdominal surgery. Actually, kidney is not inside the abdominal cavity, but you take one from the donor and put it in your abdominal cavity. So six weeks is usually enough for most wound will heal and you can get back to any activities. Um, this Hyosukche is the lady who gave me her precious kidney and she was my wife and she still is. I don't think I ever had a chance to say thank you. But I like to say now thank you very much. And I love you so much. Problem is I still don't obey her orders. Eat this, eat that. <sighs> this uh, is a misspelling. Jun Min Cho, Mr. Jun Min Cho. He's a, a instructor in one of a, one of a dive stage, dive shop in Daegu. He donated his kidney to his father, and he's uh, still. Uh, working, uh, diving very actively. So these people, when you have a chance to meet, please give a big round of applause. And uh, again, I thank them so much. So I talked about uh, diving after kidney transplantation and 
when you have the lowest fixed dosage of immune suppressants that means you can do anything anytime and today I talked about the kidney transplant and diving thank you very much for listening to my personal story and uh, hope to see you soon thank you very much